The Gloucester Meteor F-8 prone pilot represents one of aviation's most unusual experimental programs, embodying the Royal Air Force's bold pursuit of enhanced fighter performance in the early jet age. This heavily modified aircraft emerged from aerodynamic theory and physiological science that ultimately proved impractical but provided invaluable insights. The prone pilot concept emerged in the early 1950s when engineers recognized two advantages, reduced frontal area for decreased drag and enhanced pilot G-force tolerance. The Bristol Aeroplane Company proposed incorporating this position in their rocket-powered Bristol Type 185 fighter. To validate the concept, the Royal Air Force selected the last production Meteor F-8, serial WK-9 and 35, built by Armstrong Whitworth for modification in autumn 1954. Armstrong Whitworth executed the modifications as an internal project, creating a hybrid aircraft. The standard fighter cockpit remained intact for conventional operation. The radically modified front cockpit featured a custom-built couch, offset miniature control column, and suspended rear pedals. Engineers substituted a Meteor NF-12 tail unit to accommodate altered weight distribution. The emergency escape procedure highlighted system complexity. A prone pilot faced multi-step evacuation, jettisoning rudder pedals, crawling backward to an escape hatch, and retracting the nose wheel. This cumbersome process was never tested in actual emergencies, underscoring practical limitations. Chief Test Pilot Eric George Franklin conducted extensive trials between 1954 and 1955. Over 99 flights totaling 55 hours, the program generated mixed results. While prone pilots demonstrated adequate aircraft control matching standard meteor performance, the extreme forward position severely restricted rearward visibility, creating dangerous blind spots during combat maneuvers. Royal Air Force test pilot Cyril Maurice Lambert documented his experiences in Flight Magazine's March 30, 1956 issue. Mock combat exercises revealed the concept's fundamental flaw, limited situational awareness that compromised combat effectiveness against conventional aircraft. The program operated alongside the Reed and Sigrist RS-RS4 bobsleigh project from 1951 to 1956, exploring low-speed performance characteristics. Both programs reached similar conclusions regarding prone pilot impracticality. While prone position flight proved technically feasible, simultaneous G-suit development offered a simpler solution to G-force management. These garments enabled pilots to maintain conventional positions while withstanding higher acceleration forces, eliminating complex cockpit redesigns. The program demonstrated that technical feasibility doesn't guarantee operational viability. Prone pilot drawbacks, compromised visibility, complex emergency procedures, and pilot discomfort outweighed theoretical advantages in G-force tolerance and reduced drag. Following completion, WK-935 was retired after one year. The aircraft entered storage at number 12 maintenance unit before transfer to Royal Air Force Cologne. This unique experimental aircraft found permanent preservation at the Royal Air Force Museum Cosford. The Meteor F-8 prone pilot exemplifies post-war II experimental aviation spirit. While unsuccessful in its primary objective, the project contributed valuable human factors data and influenced subsequent fighter design philosophy emphasizing pilot effectiveness over theoretical performance gains. Its preservation ensures future generations can appreciate both the ingenuity and practical limitations that shaped early jet fighter development.